so on and so forth. But traditionally when we think about these things, and when we certainly think about security, we're talking about the top 10%. This tiny tip of the iceberg. The reality is the amount of data that we're dealing with on a day-to-day -day basis is significantly greater. And when I say significantly greater, we're talking orders of magnitude in the thousands of ranges, depending on the particular market. You know, we have cars reporting back data. These are things we all know about. The fact of the matter is, if we have a look at what a smart city looks like, such as those being developed in Dubai, and this, is a, this is actually quite a nice representation of where we'll be in 2017, uh, for, under the Dubai Smart Cities uh, program. You can actually see that there is no escape from the digital world. I had a friend recently who decided, I've had enough. He's been in the industry for 20 years, he'd burnt out, there was no way he could possibly provide security to this Fortune 10 company anymore. He couldn't do it. So he went down to K2, second largest peak in the world, and said, I'm going to get away from everything. The only problem was, when he arrived at the base station, there was over 150 sensors providing IP telemetry back to base. There was no way for him to actually escape technology. Now, he wasn't directly interacting with it, but these seismic sensors were keeping him safe. Wind sensors were making sure that there wasn't going to be an avalanche when he went up to the mountain. There were satellite communications that were going to make sure that if something did go wrong, he would be able to call for help. Um, uh, ATDB, all sorts of GPS, so on and so forth. In fact, if we have a look at this picture here to give you once again an understanding of the scale of what's going on here before we actually talk about the challenges of security sitting on top of that, there are more devices, small, more devices, not sensors, devices in that picture than there are available IP addresses in an empty IPv4 space. So if you have a look at a challenge that will face a city in the future, not only are you just protecting particular parts and entities, so on and so forth, but we're all participating in an ecosystem that is larger than the internet is today. Every single city. And this is a phenomenal challenge. There's all sorts of different things that we have to look at. We have to look at trust, we have to